I came here to study from Zimbabwe. And to be fair, I, I did not really think I'd see a lot of uh, Black students anyway. Um, but I think reality struck me when I saw that I was only one of the three Black students in the whole of my department. And this is a department of over 400 students in total. So that constitutes about less than 1% actually. So I think hearing, um, relating stories from some of my colleagues in other um, chemical sciences fields, I realized that I think there was just a lot of lack of representation really. And I think that's also one major um, factor that contributes to a lot of black students dropping out at various stages of you know, their academic journey. Because if you don't get to see people like you in, you know, in positions um, higher up or in senior positions, I mean, it's very easy not to feel like you belong in that particular area. And without any support, which really is another factor that a lot of Black students um, face, uh, there's no one really who's able to guide you um, career-wise or just help you along the academic ladder, to be honest, um, because they are not representing um, people like you anyway. So I think it's just lack of representation, lack of support, um, because there aren't many of us in, in the chemical sciences anyway. It feels lonely. Um, there's no other word to describe it. And I think people just tend to go elsewhere where they feel um, they belong. And I think that means losing a lot of brilliant and highly capable individuals. It's heartbreaking. I think besides being lonely, it is a heartbreaking uh, scenario to watch because a lot of people do want to become professors or do want to be um, part of you know, uh, the senior lecturers team, but they simply cannot do that. I think for me, my, my career progression, if I take as an undergraduate, uh, and even as a postgraduate, and compare that to my life as an academic, there will be two contrasting um, paths, if you like. So as an undergraduate, I, I would say I received quite a bit of support um, from my lecturers and from the university. There were not that many of us doing chemistry to start off with, so I, I suppose the academics had more time to focus on us individually. And, and then when I went on to do my postgraduate studies, I, I had a fantastic um, supervisor who was of great support. Uh, I mean, his support is really was was immeasurable. I, I would say had such a great impact on my on my my career. But as an academic, you know, I I have found that support quite lacking. And I, I suppose when I speak to students as well, their experience as black chemists. Unfortunately, that's not mirror mine. Whereas I received quite a bit of support as a student, they haven't. And there may be a myriad of reasons for that. I, I can't really go into it. Um, but the early experience, unfortunately, wasn't mine. And but I've had to really sort of try and understand what the experience is like. But as an academic, the support you know, hasn't been there as, as it was as a student, I would say. It's been quite, quite difficult to, to access um opportunities to to progress in my career um I, I think the lack of network to the corridors of influence and power may be a part of it but yeah it, it's been contract it's, it's a bit, been a big contrast from being an, uh, a student to being an academic my my experiences of racism are, are kind of sort of um i'd say sort of microaggressions and sort of then overt racism that uh, i've experienced throughout kind of my journey in in higher education I, I guess the experiences that kind of resonate to me um when i sort of became into an academic position and, and kind of into my senior academic positions was sort of attending conferences certainly conferences uh, for my discipline and being quite considered as probably the it person and, and never considered someone who would be on the platform to present so I was often given by other speakers their, their USB keys to upload their presentations. And I'll be like, well, no, actually, I'm, I'm one of the speakers here. So at that point, it sort of makes you reflect on, you know, why do they see me differently? Why am I being not considered in the same context as the other people who are on this platform to present? 
and sort of brings you that sort of self-doubt about um you know what's your belonging in this sphere and and, and is you are you valued i guess in terms of your work and your representation I try as much as possible when anyone sort of reaches out to me and sort of says to me about like going down this career path that, you know, you do, I did, I did it as well for the love of it. I think any sort of career that you go into, you, you've got to enjoy and you've got to love doing what you do. Yeah. But at the same extent, it's nice to see like someone like that you can relate to um, uh, being there. So I think as well, like I try as much as possible to be someone that, you know young black um chemists can relate to uh and uh, like i will be there as a reference i will be there to give guidance and to say like what to do and what what not to do or try not to do but yeah sure. just being being yourself as well because i think at the end of the day you just you can't um you can't forever sustainably um you know, be someone else, you know, and I think that's probably what I've always tried to do as much as possible is just to just be myself. Within the workplace, as a black woman, my behaviour and performance often becomes under an intense microscope, whereas a simple expression of disagreement or criticism may be considered constructed feedback from others, yet viewed as raw anger or unbridled hostility coming from a black woman. It's completely unnecessary and only makes the workplace more difficult. So in terms of what I'm doing about it, I think I got tired of waiting for others to step in. <laughs> you know, this is something that's known, the lack of, of, of numbers across all professions. This is not a situation in terms of numbers, which we're all aware of. That is a challenge across particular sectors. It's across all sectors and professions within the UK. Um, so I decided to do something about myself. So I and others, uh, Brought, came together and established Get It, which is Global Quality, Diversity and Technology Transfer. And that's related to the work that I do in, in research and innovation and working with business. Um, and we've come together to, to develop initiatives and activities to talk about situations, develop actions. Um, we're having current conversations with Innovate UK, uh, who is a, a national funding agency. Um, and, and we feel like we're, we're in a good position, but it would be even better position if people took the lead and also acted themselves. I think there's a shift change. The narrative is that I, you know, I feel there's definitely a change in, in, in terms of things at the moment. The figures are still the same. The rep representation, the diversity, the numbers are still the same. But I feel the narrative is it, slightly starting to change. We're having more open conversations about where the issues are and how we can take forward. Um, so as being a member of the Royal Society of, of Chemistry, um, you know, it's one of the reasons why I continue to be part of the Royal Society of Chemistry itself and, and work with the organisation is because they take that, that mantle forward and they, they act, they go out and they have the conversations, they, they reach out to the membership and they reach out to the, the, the organisations who are part of the membership and have that conversation and put things in place. So having been part of, of this research and, and actions that taken forward, absolutely yes, the dial is turning, um, but, but being honest and frank about it, it's a notch. It's not a, a situation where we've gone from 12 to quarter past 12. It's a notch in terms of moving forward. And it's really pleasing that all society is taking on this mantle and it's absolutely brilliant to, to work with them forward. Having someone uh, actively reach out to, to, to me as an individual in terms of understanding what my experience is, experiences being resourced with a dedicated team looking at this issue um, for me it really shows that the leadership that that we are wanting to see within the UK and taking forward this is really challenging issue um, and, it, and it's great as a chemist myself it's just pleasing to my heart <laughs> to, to see the society that I, I'm a member of really take on this challenge and, and, and move forward and, and really drive that conversation forward it's great to see.